because the things I say are on behalf of God. Like, it's not always godly because I'm a man, but God is definitely using me. Are you, are you, you're you're, you're a Catholic faith? I am, What's yes. your background? I am Catholic. Religious? Catholic, yeah. Well, we're, we're working for God here. And it's just like with black people now with entertainment, we're coming into wealth, but all the other, you know, black people with anywhere near uh, my amount of wealth would never cross the lines of, you know, taboos inside of the media. I'm that not, I'm was not, put on camera I'm, I'm not saying you to can't traumatize. I'm not finished. La, 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 la means let me finish. Uh, Answer so the question about the femur to the dinosaur. No, no, I'm going to ask you a different question. Situation. I'm just going to ask if, you this. What? what no, what, you're not. You're going to, you're going to, no, you, I, 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 didn't, I didn't finish my question. Well, hang on. You can't you tell me. You answer my question You can't first. tell me what questions to ask you. You accept to, that I'm the interviewer. You're to answer my question. No, I said answer my question. No, I'm interviewing you too. Well, you, you can't interview me. It's my interview. You're Bono. I'm interviewing you too. See, that's <laughs> the way we rap. Has Ye really lost it? Well, Cat Williams seems to have an update on Ye's whereabouts, and you should know. Along with dropping many other shocking revelations, Cat Williams recently gave an update on Kanye's whereabouts and exposed how Kim K is genuinely paying for his disappearance. Not to mention how he is not afraid to make these revelations, because according to him, Hollywood is basically Satanism, and it cannot create anything for him. I suspect that we're pretty awful people if we say that somebody got a mental illness and then we watch what they do. If you say somebody got special needs, then why would you be watching them and holding them accountable like everybody else? Wouldn't you grade them on a curve? Wouldn't you go, whew? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal, it's a, it's a consortium. They, they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. Today, we really, really appreciate it here at Club Shay Shay. Thank so thanks for so stopping much. by, Kat. And I needed you to know why I came by. Yeah, I need you to tell us why. Anyway, so Ye is still alive and well. All he's doing is taking a vacation from what appears to be a social cleansing. But every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? What's the crazy part, really? They can't scare you, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize you. They can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control LeBron James, they can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. It's you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Not you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you, but the way you read that, I took that as a slight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't take no disrespect from nobody, so let's get on the phone and let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slights from nobody, right? I ain't taking no slights from nobody. It's God. It's the only person that I serve. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, I appreciate you. Michael too. Jordan. What about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God love me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still. Forbes, who hate me, right, had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God love me. That's more important than thinking in life. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard.
Y'all can't send none of y'all meek males, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these things. None of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want. Yet, as to Williams, there exists a chance that the Hollywood elite might take advantage of this to completely remove Kanye from the picture. Here's everything you need to know. Comedian Williams recently gave an interview where he was upfront about his thoughts on Kanye West and the mystery surrounding the rapper. Looking back at what West had done, Williams made an apparent parallel between the well-known musician and someone suffering from mental illness. When Williams was asked about Kanye West during his podcast interview on Club Shay Shay, the host encouraged the comedian to provide his thoughts from a distance. With a controversial opening comment, I suspect that we're pretty awful people if we say that somebody got a mental illness and then we watch what they do. Williams didn't hold back when he started the conversation, pushing the narrative that West indeed has be blackballed like the rest of us. Because, I mean, what are we reacting to? What are we reacting to? You are the one that put him in a position where he thought he was God and could call himself Jesus. And you're the one told a guy that writes musical lyrics that he was a genius. Mm -hmm. Developing this idea further, Williams questioned whether it is appropriate to judge people with special needs based only on their behavior without taking into account the whole picture of their situation. If you say somebody got special needs, then why would you be watching them and holding them accountable like everybody else? He questioned, wouldn't you grade them on a curve? Wouldn't you go, woo, this guy? No, I don't, I don't support or villainize Kanye because I don't understand what it is we want from him. I, I don't know why we look at a basketball player and say, he didn't score no hockey goals this whole season. <laughs> he don't play hockey. <laughs> Kanye don't say nothing I can agree with. Okay. I, he was the weird guy in the beginning with the pink sweaters right. when we met him. Like, yeah. what do you think moving to a beat of your own drum? This, this dude started a church and kept cussing. Nobody in black church said nothing. You would have thought all the pastors would have came. You can't be no gospel artist. You just said that. <laughs> Nobody said nothing, cause T.D. Jakes over there with Pete in it. Like, oh, you know, but come on, cat! Only the guy you had here has been upfront and honest and a man of God and humble and took the L's he had to take and didn't. The comedian's comments didn't end there. He then expanded on his parallel and discussed the driving forces of the industry that might have shaped West's public image. Because, I mean, what are we reacting to? You are the one who put him in a position where he thought he was God and could call himself Jesus. You're the one that told the guy that writes musical lyrics that he was a genius. Currently, during the podcast, the comedian and entertainer has called out a long list of other comedians and entertainers, including Cedric the Entertainer, Tiffany Haddish, Ludacris, Steve Harvey, and many more. But Cat Williams insisted that out of all these, Wes should be receiving assistance rather than being vilified. And, as was to be expected, the Emmy Award-winning stand-up comedian, who is renowned for his biting humor and raw commentary, turned his focus back to Kim Kardashian, the creator of Skims and the ex-wife of Kanye West, and who also, in his opinion, is the reason behind Kanye being shunned from the greater Hollywood. The guy married a Like, what? Oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean, married her because she was one. Not he didn't know. He understood that he wanted that. He courted that. That's what he wanted to base his but maybe family she got, she got on. a good heart, though. I know what you're going to say. Don't you say it, Kat. Don't you say it. I'm going to move the conversation. If what I'm saying is not correct, then how does she end up with Pete Davidson? I mean, it happens all the time. And what if you weren't even good enough for Pete and he leaves you? What do that mean the product was? According to him, Marrying a woman like Kim simply meant downfall for Kanye, given how Kris Jenner makes sure to find the weakest of weak spots of those involved in the lives of her daughters, simply to keep an upper hand in everything, from relationships to business partnerships. For Kat, their marriage was nothing but another business arrangement for the magazines and red carpets. However, many people are criticizing the comic for his bizarre comments in response, 
because strong beliefs often attract strong criticism. For example, all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to fuck my people in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I, uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows because I knew things and I wasn't sure how I knew them. Um, I knew things that I felt like I don't have a reason that I, I know this, but I, I love to read. Um, I was voracious because they told me when I was young that knowledge was powerful, uh, that knowledge was power, and I, and I had studied powerful people, and I, I, um, I really believe that. I, I, I immediately, my next project was to read the whole encyclopedia set. So when you're like six, seven years old, you read the whole encyclopedia set, you think you're one of the smartest people in the world, right. only to get out in the world and find out you don't know anything, you know? See, Williams revealed to Sharp during the interview that he left the role in Fast and Furious after learning that Ludacris was a member of the Illuminati, with the comment that Ludacris ended up with a light-skinned, ugly face wife he further poked fun at the rapper's partner. Oh, there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were gonna pay him 10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Now, one person ended up with a light-skinned, ugly-faced wife that's never done a... Remember I told you that if I say that, it apply to seven people? Yes. It's part of what they give you, okay? I didn't get it. I'm not mad about it. How much money do they give? 200? Sir, Fast and Furious is on what number right 10. now? So, as expected, over Kanye's devil in a new dress, Ludacris answered in a freestyle. According to Ludacris, Illuminati, not Illuminati at all. And whenever I came from a party, I exclusively went with bitches. Now that I'm married and have children, life has evolved. Never say shit for likes, never been a clout chaser. Then he brought up William's drug problem and refuted his remarks from Fast and Furious. Rip John Singleton, you never have to flex when you earned every one of your Fast and Furious checks slash afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature slash addictions on the rise. Comedians, check your temperature. I've never been Illuminati, only Illuminati, and I only left with when coming from any party now i'm married with kids the evolution of life never been a cloud chaser never say sh but like r.i.p john singleton you never have to flex when you earn every one of your fast and furious checks afro with the sideburns yeah that's my signature addictions on the rise comedians check your temperature and if that wasn't enough williams also criticized ricky smiley in friday after next for supposedly lying about being the first money mike Williams added that he would have to wear a dress if he were to collaborate with Smiley once more, as him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did, it's in my contract. Why would you put that in your, put in your contract, Cat? That's where he's a believable actor. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. 
They play good women. And I believe that the best actor should be in the best role. So that's why, because when we released that clip and he said that, you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to play, play Santa Claus. An outright lie. So That he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. I know so many things I shouldn't know and they all know it. And because he's not here to take anyone for their bad critique about him, Smiley replied that he wasn't embarrassed about donning a dress in the movie First Sunday, which starred Williams and him, because at least his fans loved him. Yeah, so now that we, we are older, I'm comfortable in my job in uh, radio. I'm comfortable in, uh, you know, the roles that I get and the things that I, I get to do. And I just finished a, a phenomenal comedy special. So, so the statement about Ricky Smiley is not funny. I've been sold out since 97. That part. Every, every single show I have done since 97, maybe not big arenas, but I, I pack up those theaters and, 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 and have to add shows and comedy clubs in between radio and all of that. Smiley added, that has nothing to do with my manhood being diminished for trying to play a part and put food on the table for my family. Raising a family I'm comfortable with, what, what makes me sad, uh, I don't like the way that made my kids feel. And that's why I'm not going to, you know, uh, go after him because uh, he has kids and, and family members and nieces and nephews also. And it hurts uh, our family members and people that do love us when we say hurtful things about each other. So uh, we want to wish Cat Williams the best or whatever. It ain't nothing but love over here just because we don't agree. Smiley continued, saying that as the first anniversary of his son's passing draws near, he and his family are going through a crazy time. Yet, he added, we want to send Cat Williams our best wishes. Now, that hit the spot. That's all for today's video. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.